Now, I can't believe that I'm actually going to be doing this, but Dad, hit the music. Just real quick, uh, I just want to say that, you know, we've been watching you for a while now. So, but when I was prepping for this interview, I had to go way back just to refresh on everything. And there was an episode of Rant and Raven where you were in the truck getting Dunkin' Donuts with the iced coffee with Bob. And that's the thing. I was like, I know that voice. That's Bob. And I never realized it before. Since so going back and seeing that yep. he's with you since then it was awesome. And I thought it was hilarious when... The old lady said, you guys don't look like iced coffee types. Nope. <laughs> no, but uh, we, uh, but, I mean, people, well, people have told me the shit I've done in my life is so stupid. Whenever I started selling t-shirts, they're like, oh, you're going to start a t-shirt company. And I'm like, yeah, dude, fucking t-shirts. Whatever, say something stupid about that too. And then whenever I said I'm giving a uh, I can't pay Bob any money. Bob's a 50% owner of everything I ever do in my life. Whatever I do, Bob's doing. Why? Because I can't do it without Bob. It won't be as great without Bob. And everybody's like, you're going to give him 50%? And I'm like, yeah, I don't have any money to give him. So we don't make any money right now. He has 50% of nothing. But if we ever do make it, he's going to make a lot of money one day. And it took us like two years to actually start making money. But now in the situation that we're in, that at that time, people were like, you're an idiot. You're dumb. And I'm like, okay, can I go fucking back to work and you leave me alone right now? And at that point, that's whenever I, uh, I started realizing that I am a risk taker because everybody's saying this is stupid. I'm dumb. And I'm like, I think it's a good idea. But everybody else thinks it's dumb. <laughs> so we're there. Were there ever any times where you you were between you and Bob were like really stressed out between each other? Oh, Bob and I, no, uh uh. I mean, whenever it comes to business, business is business because it's not about Bob and it's not about myself. It's about our customers and it's about our people. It's about the dream that we have of doing something incredible. So, whenever there is something that he and I disagree about, we sit in the same room and say, and, and say our piece about it because we have to, because that's what happens in business. Because the business, the, the business wasn't, it's not Bob and I. The business is you. The business is your dad. The business is every person that orders a supplement or a t-shirt or anything from us every single day. The business is bigger than just me. It's bigger than my business partners. It's bigger than what we ever thought it would be because it's about the people. So whenever there is a disagreement among, amongst us in any way, shape or form, we sit down and hash it out like men because it's just, we have to, but at the end of the day, we all know that we're doing something that is so unique that there are hundreds of thousands of people gravitating towards what we're doing every single day. And it's the greatest thing on the planet. So whatever we have in a disagreement, we nip it right in the butt right away together because it's not about us. Yeah. Did you ever, are you blown away by how your company is doing? Like, did you ever think that it would get to where it is today and where it's going tomorrow? No. So I'll tell this on this. You're, this is the first place you're ever going to hear this. Uh, so I told my business partners that <clears throat> if we ever do a certain dollar amount per year, I would get a tattoo of an axe and sledge on my ass. Well, I was like, yeah, I was like, we do that number. I was like, I'll get an accent slash on my ass. And this was before the company got launched. Okay. This is in like, I think May of 2018. And they were like, I was like, we do that number tattoo on my ass. And they're like holding you to it. And I'm like, oh no, like you think we're going to do that number. And he's like, yeah, we're definitely going to hit that number. And I'm like, like, how long? Like maybe like 10 years. And he's like, yeah, might be like, might be like five or seven years we get there. And I'm like, okay, all right. But you think we're going to, and he's like, yeah, we're going to, well, year two, we hit that number. And I was like, and at the end of the year, they're like, 
you're getting it. And I'm like, it's like, I have to. So now I have to get a tattoo of an axe and sledge on my ass. And it is a very, the amount of money that we've done as a business is absolutely incredible. And that's why I said that. And now that I have to get it, I'm like, man, I definitely should have dreamed bigger. <laughs> but yeah, so this year they are holding me to it that uh, I have to get a tattoo of an accent sledge on my ass cheek. 